Christian from Keeperstop.com with an easy progression to help goalkeepers increase efficiency in their movement and minimize all that extra movement they have when they're in their set position. So literally, I'm going to have two balls in my hands with my goalkeeper here, high school goalkeeper, and all this is going to be is from a proper set position, we're going to have our goalkeeper in a proper set position, and once I present the ball, he takes a step behind the ball, all right, and makes sure his hands are catching the top half of the ball. So actually, let me demonstrate, and I'll do it for you. So step over here. So as soon as he raises a ball, raise this side over here so you can see we go slow. If you notice, I'm in a good set position. My hands are out in front of me. All right, I want to be able to see my hands, connect my eyes to my hands. So he put, raised that ball. I want to make sure I'm stepping behind that ball and I'm catching the top half of the ball. So I got a nice frame with my shoulders behind the ball. My head is behind my hands. All right, there's a nice, strong, sturdy frame, a base behind there. So he's gonna go back, he's gonna drop him a little bit. Good, go again, whatever side you want. So I get my body, so I take a step to get my body behind the ball, projecting my head and hands towards the ball. So if you notice, again, go, whatever side, behind here. So there's no extra movement, all right? It's just from a proper set position. A lot of goalkeepers have a tendency to go up and go over, or go up and move behind the ball. Ready, here we go, set position, nice and relaxed. Nice and light, good, here we go, good. So if you notice here, there's no extra movement. Yeah, there you go, that's okay. Set position, take your step, good. If it's close to you, it's not a big step, making sure you end balance. Ready, set position, go, good. End balance though. So now finish it, good, end balance. There you go. Keep your hands in front of you, slightly in front of you, so you can see them, hands in front of you. There you go, good. Take your step, ah, much better. Did you feel the difference? Yeah. Good, up, good, 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 one more, good, and good, hold. So one more, so if you notice here, so a lot of goalkeepers have a tendency when they catch the ball is they're leading with their, their body upright, they're leading with their hips. I wanna make sure their body, their feet more importantly, get their hands and head to the ball. So literally will be this, okay? So a lot of them do this and where's their weight when they dive. So this is, you know, what they could do to help increase their, obviously their movement, their efficiency, but it increases the quickness of their first step. It increases how they distribute their weight from a center to over. Next progression of this, okay? Ball is gonna be on the ground. All right, we got two, we got two balls right now, okay? Nice and easy. All I'm gonna have my goalkeeper here do, and again, Simple drills, but these are just warm-ups, so when we start training in our, our box drill next, there's gonna be uh, more efficiency, less movement, and a quicker goalkeeper. So all this is gonna be from here, I'm gonna point left, I'm gonna point right. So low ball now, so all this is gonna be is get your body behind it, okay? So some goalkeeper coaches, you can pick it up. Right now, this is just a quickness drill, making sure they're bending with their knees to get their body behind the ball, okay? You can go to and through it, if you wanted to make it official, but I'm only working on efficiency of the knee and the hand placement. Connecting the eyes and the hands, all right, and making sure they're bending with their elevator, with their knees to get their body behind the ball. Okay, and this will burn a little bit, so do six at a time. Here we go, set position, I'll pull them a little close. So you see how efficient I was? Good set position, nice and light on your feet, and with that ball scooping underneath it. You ready, set position? Hands out in front of you. There you go. Good. So try not to be like, oh, I'm getting the ball. So your hands are already there. Get your hands down. Good. Here, can you make it closer? Just so it's a little faster. That's two. Let's do four more. Ready? Go. Good. Good. Nice and efficient. I like it. Okay. So not bend here. Scoop underneath it. Are you ready? Set. Good. There you go. Good. Make sure you're connecting your eyes, your hands, and the ball. Two more. Good. Good, excellent, and hold. All right, next we could do is to add them all together is to help him with his, his footwork, his efficiency. I'm gonna have the balls in front of me. All right, so I'll be serving the ball. So now the ball, he's in a good set position. I mean, if you really think about it, you're not gonna be diving back. This helps your save when you're diving. So small areas, work in small areas, build confidence there, and then whatever saves you make out into the corners, spectacular. But goalkeeper coaches, all we expect is Balls in this area, you should have every one of them, okay? So again, now the ball's gonna be rolled low, so it's gonna be a ball here, or a ball thrown at their head. So they gotta work on, obviously now, efficiency of movement, 
feeling comfortable in that set position, as well as working on hand speed, as well as, all right, their body position as well. Making sure they're not falling back. Making sure they're staying forward, you right? Ready? Here we go. Good. Back in, your hands are ready. Good. Moving your feet, I like it, good. Your body up, all right, we'll make it less predictable. Here we go, come on, move your feet, good. Feet, get your hands at a ball. Feet, get your hands at a ball, yeah, that's okay. So you reach with your upper body. Feet, get your hands at a ball, there you go, good. Take a step, get your body behind it, good. Excellent, good, here we go. All right, move your feet, good, here we go. One more round, low one, hey, good job. Another low, low one, one more low one, here we go. Come on, get your feet behind it, there you go, good. Stay in front of that yellow if you can, come on, and good. Gets a little tiring, burns a little bit, huh? All right, take a break for a second. As goalkeepers start to do that stuff more, small little space kind of stuff, feeling comfortable in that set position, all right, getting used to having their feet get their hands to where it has to go rather than just reaching. Younger goalkeepers, high school goalkeepers, will end up being a little bit more efficient with their diving. You know, as my goalkeeper is working here, that transition to this step can help with diving. It helps with maybe a high hand save. It just, it helps with his controlling his body as well as the ball. A lot of younger goalkeepers, as I said, this, they, they reach, they reach. But again, we're fastest with our feet. We're more explosive with our feet. So we wanna make sure goalkeepers feel comfortable in this position and are efficient in that position. Are you ready? Let's go again. A couple more. Get your body behind it. Ah, that's beautiful, I like it. Another low ball, just kidding. Here we go. Get body behind it, good. Good, that's three. Move your body behind it, don't reach, come on. Come on, push, there you go. Push with that outside leg to get to that ball. Push, there you go, good. Come on, step, get your body behind it, good. Here we go, good. Moving your body behind it, good. Come on, quick, get back. Body behind it, good. Make sure you're nice and efficient. Little steps, little steps, little steps. There you go, good. A little faster now. And excellent, good job. Tiring, huh? Yeah. Hey, good job, it's good. So I just wanted to reiterate, you know, many goalkeepers don't have the ability to use a big field and a, and a net. So we're in an open field, we got lacrosse behind us, we have other baseball kids playing over here and other fields going on. So we have a small area, um, actually two by two right now. So you have a two by two square is what we're gonna train in next. You saw the distribution we did before, it was another small space, and that's all you really need is to develop that confidence to control your body as well as the ball. So right now we're gonna do a handling exercise that progresses from that warm-up that we had. The warm-up focused again on efficiency, getting and making sure our first step is behind the ball from a proper set position or ready position with our hands out in front. So many goalkeepers are playing with their shorts. Ball has, uh, your hands have further to move. So I like your hands and eyes to be connected. My nice glow in the dark gloves here, I can see them. And it's easier and quicker to get my hands to the ball. If I raise my hand on this side, you're gonna, with short little steps, up explosive steps, get to this cone, touch it, get back into the middle, get back in the middle, and I'm gonna serve the ball. If I lower my hand on that side, you're gonna drop step and get to that cone. Beautiful, back in again, and you're set. Raise my hand on this side, touch to set position, good. If I lower my hand, you draw up, go back there, and come back into the middle. And that's what it's gonna be. So we'll go live, we'll go slow. And the whole purpose of this is making sure his movement is short, short and sharp. And when I'm about to kick the ball, he's ready. He's ready for that shot. He's balanced. He can move left and right. He can jump high or low. So the important is here is there's a visual cue like you know a striker shooting the ball or cocking their foot back for a ball so he's responding to a visual cue to a shot so here's an example are you ready quick movement and he's set and i volley that ball at him okay so making sure that he's balanced and nice and relaxed okay ready touch back into the middle and set making sure that you're on your toes. So little footsteps, get over there, quick touch, and you're back in, be on your toes, making sure your body's behind the ball. And if you have to go anywhere, making sure you're balanced and coming forward, not leaning back, okay? Here we go. Back in, good. So we increase the speed of this as he gets better at it. Are you ready? Go, quick, quick footwork. Back in, set, I like it. So the progression of this now is we added a hurdle. So he's gonna jump over the hurdle into a balanced position, ready position. So 
So it adds a different element to it. So it's a little bit more explosive. It adds a little bit uh, more of a balance issue for him that he's got to be ready as soon as he lands. But now I have the cones again. So you could call out colors if you want, but I always like to respond to a visual cue. You see something, you do it. So I took my gloves off because I can't hold on to the cones at the same time. So he's gonna jump over. Whatever two cones I drop, he's gotta do something with. If you've noticed, I have purple, blue, green, and orange. If I drop any of those, green, purple, blue, or orange, he has to touch it. If I drop a yellow, he's gotta touch whatever color I say, whatever I drop, and also do a burpee at the end. So, so I'm gonna have the ball at my feet, I'm gonna approach the ball. As soon as I approach the ball, he jumps over, he's in, go jump up, over and in. I drop blue, he touches. If I drop yellow, he does a burpee and he's back in. But he's not gonna be able to see him because I'm gonna have him behind my back. So again, I have corresponding colors for each of the cones. If you want, if that's too complicated, you just could call him out. Orange, you touch orange. Touch green, you can have him touch two, you can have him touch three. You wanna make it more anaerobic, a little bit more, uh, you know, harder for them from a sprinting standpoint, as I said, anaerobic, then you can uh, do multiple ones, all right? Two or three of them. All right, you ready? Here we go. So ball's gonna start in the ground. Okay, ready? So I approach the ball. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have him behind my back and I'm gonna tra drop two. So jump when I approach the ball. Ready, here we go. Go. Quickly get there, over, and set. And ball's inside here. Good, nice and easy. Remember, feel nice and balanced, little steps. Remember, let your elevator get your body down behind that ball. Scoop it up. Here, here we go. Good. I'll reset these cones. Uh-oh. See what I have next. It's like Easter over here. See what we got. So I touch. Here we go. You're out. Go. Here we go. Go. Yep. Burpee. Give me a burpee. Up. Come on. Get balanced. Get balanced. Good. Up. Good. So the ball can be low or high. Good movement. I like it. Nice and quick. Here we go again. Touch is made. Yep. Go. Up. Over. Like it. Good. Come on, find it, good. And that's okay. And hold, that's fine. So imagine yourself doing it correctly. So just imagine yourself doing it correctly. So you're so anxious to make that save, you didn't give yourself time to do what? Get ready, get balanced, okay? Get ready, get balanced, and then deal with the ball. So worry about everything else after what? After your ready position, okay? Ball can be low or high. Your job is just to keep the ball in front of you. Your job is to keep that predictable. Keep that ball in front of you. Hold on if you can. Are you ready? More balls over here. All right, see what we got next. When you jump over, take a mental picture. Know what's there. Blue is behind you. Green is behind you. Don't make any extra movements. Just re respond. Ready? Here we go. Ball's in. Go. Over. Touch. Get there. Yep. Find the next one. Up. Oh, come on. Set and you're balanced. You're balanced. Good. That's much better. You feel the difference in that one? Good. Let's do five more of those, okay? So we'll do rounds of six only. Touch is made, here we go. Good, you're back in set. What could you do to get your body lower? Yeah, elevator and move your body to the side. So quick step here, okay? What we worked on in the beginning, you got it. Fix touch is made, over. There's three there, good, I like it. Drop it, up, come on, quick, get balanced, get balanced. Good. You got one more in you? All right, stupendous. That was a challenging one. Uh, I wouldn't do that to you. I got six here, so are you ready? So nice, give me a pulse, give me a pulse, good. Touch is made. Uh-oh, quickly, yep, yeah, I like it. Good, come on, down, you're up. Come on, quickly, get balanced, get shot, be ready. Good, perfect way to end, good job. Good job.